Topic under discussion today is hypertension and in this lecture we'll make this hypertension very simple and we'll tell you people the very valid definition how to define properly perfect definition okay of the hypertension what is the perfect definition we'll tell you people about that. Well, then I will tell you people about the etiology and pathophys of the hypertension, then clinical presentation, then diagnosis, then management, non-pharmacological and pharmacological. Well, if I'm speaking very fast, you can adjust that uh, speed of the lecture in the settings, okay? If, either, if it is slow for you guys, you can speed it out. If it is speed, you can slow it down, okay, in the set setting of the uh, YouTube videos. Coming to the point starting our lecture from the very first that is the definition of the hypertension what is the definition of the hypertension it is going to be the very valid definition everyone is supposed to remember the valid definition okay some books will suggest you guys the low standard books and uh, a kind of uh, small researchers they talk uh, with values i recommend you guys not to talk with values do not try definition with values of the hypertension because this hypertension is going to vary from patient to patient okay Elderly will have different range, the patient with the disease condition will have a different range. So in short, there is a change in the values of the hypertension from patient to patient, from gender to gender, from that's it, okay? In short, so you must not write definition with the values of the hypertension. Coming to the point how to define hypertension, uh, one is very simple definition. Uh, what is blood pressure? The pressure of the blood on the blood vessels the pressure of the blood on the blood vessels is called blood pressure and high blood pressure is called hypertension this is the very simple one now let's come towards a bit logical one and a medical definition what is that very simple condition in which blood pressure is elevated to such an extent where benefit is obtained from lowering of it now what this definition states is very simple if uh, blood pressure is elevated to such extent if we uh, lower the value from that extent, okay, then we will get the benefit. In short, in a patient, in any patient, if blood pressure is uh, elevated to certain extent, to certain value, so in that particular patient, if we lower that value, whatsoever the value is, okay, I told you people, do not mention the values, whatsoever the value is, if we decrease, lower, of whatever the word you're using right now, coming to the point, making definition simple okay simple just concentrate if in any patient the blood pressure is high enough so if we lower that high value and the patient will get benefit so that is actually called as hypertension what 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 very simple it is a condition in which blood pressure is elevated to such an extent where benefit is obtained from lowering of it okay that's called simple hypertension in hypertension what is happening what is actually observed in a particular patient blood pressure is very high so if we lower that high value the patient is benefiting them so this is actually called as hypertension hypertension if you're writing the values then you are specificating towards particular patient so don't specify your definition just have a definition that is actually going to fit in each and every case well if you're writing another one that's up to you guys now i told you people the very definition that is going to help you out in any sort of a condition whatsoever the cases once again condition in which blood pressure is elevated okay uh, to such extent to such value where if we uh, lower that value the patient will get the benefit so we are actually taking uh, care of the patient what kind of value for the particular patient is okay will decrease uh, that uh, value will lower that value from high to low so this is our main target to lower the blood pressure according to the patient according to the patient forget about the values for now okay well i will i think and i hope you guys got the definition if still you have confusion drop in the comment box moving on towards the etiology and pathophys very simple uh we have explained all these in all the detailed lectures you can search them out here i will tell you people in very short to the point what is actually the etiology and pathophys generally we have two causes primary cause secondary cause primary hypertension secondary hypertension you can put these as a types also okay so primary hypertension is actually uh, the observed in most of the cases of the hypertension patients okay approximately 95 percent 92 95 96 percent this is the value of most of the patients when they present when they are observed when they are diagnosed they are actually having the primary hypertension primary hypertension and the cause in those cases is actually unknown most of the times 
the case, the cause is not known to us. We just diagnose and we uh, result that to a hypertension. So in most of the cases, like means in 95% of the cases or 96, 90 plus, okay, we actually don't have any sort, any cause behind of the hypertension. So in most of the cases, sometimes there's a kind of disease responsible to cause hypertension. So now, like just like how, like very simple, in secondary hypertension, there is a kind of a disease uh, behind this particular hypertensive uh, uh, condition in which there is kidney failure or uh, kidney problems like renal problem you can call it so there is a renal problem behind that hypertension sometimes there is a thyroid problem and sometimes there is medicine so kidney problem you can search our last system video for uh, is explaining for explanation or for easy identification or easy understandings of the pathophys, okay? I have explained their RAS system, so you must check that also. Well, thyroidism, hyper and hypo, are both responsible to cause hypertension. And medicine, there are some certain medicines. When they're used, that will also uh, lead you towards hypertension. So, we have two types, primary and secondary. And uh, regarding causes, uh, primary is actually having an unknown cause. It is actually the, the most of the cases that we observe regarding hypertension in those patients there is no any proper cause so that is the reason behind is that that case is actually having some any other problem so well secondary is the one having a kidney problem uh, thyroid problem and some medicines uh, induced hypertension i hope you got the causes and types in here in the etiology and pathophys in the etiology and the pathophys you can search the details also okay Detailed lectures are available on each and every topic. Coming to the next one, that diagnosis. Now, how to diagnose? Very simple. We are supposed to measure the blood pressure. Now, again, regarding this, you might have remembered that we have already uploaded a video on blood pressure measurement in which uh, I have mentioned the wrong practice that is actually observed all around. People and physicians, nurses, doctors, pharmacists, whatsoever the professional is that is not observing the patient properly. So there must be proper blood pressure measurement. We have put in the lecture how to measure blood pressure by Dr. UUT. Search like that, you will get the, the, the video. Watch that video, how to uh, measure the blood pressure correctly. You will get the entire concept, okay? Well, regarding the point of view, we must observe the blood pressure, measure it. Then we will check the blood chemistry, lipid content, protein, glucose, and etc. stuff. And uh, then we will check the end organ damage like brain, eyes, heart, kidney. These all can help out in the diagnosis of the hypertension. Well, regarding the clinical presentation point of view, uh, we must uh, observe uh, such kind of uh, sign and symptoms. And it may be asymptomatic also, okay? I told you people in here in the beginning. Uh, in primary case, uh, oftentimes it is asymptomatic and there is no proper cause also. Now, no noun cause and asymptomatic. Well, some cases like headache may, might be the very possible clinical presentation and uh, along with that uh, stroke, visual disturbance and uh, end organ damage, these all can be the clinical presentation regarding the uh, hypertension point of view. So this is the clinical presentation, this is the diagnosis and uh, here comes the management. Now how to manage? Very simple, first of all we are going to have through non-pharmacological management, we must go through non-pharmacological management in which we will uh, ask the patient to change the lifestyle, uh, to concentrate on the weight, must go for weight loss, and uh, must have proper diet, okay? Dietary approach should be observed to stop the hypertension. So this is not pharmacological. We must guide the patient properly. Well, regarding pharmacological point of view, again, it varies from patient to patient. So commonly now drugs used like diuretics, ACE inhibitors, casein channel blockers, beta blockers, and vasodilators, these are actually used in pharmacology to manage the patient. Regarding these drugs and their mechanism of actions, you can search the detailed lectures of each uh, drug and their mechanism of action in our channel. I hope you got the entire lecture. If you have confusion anywhere, drop in the comment box. We are here to help you guys. Thank you for watching.